So, following from uh, the hard-coded values for fragments, descriptor, materials, and shaders, like all the loaded data is hard-coded. It's I need something that loads dynamic data, basically, m typically from a file or other locations. Now, of course, I have some older code that I, you know, like YAML reading and writing, which I'll prob probably reuse a lot, a good portion of. But this is all for the old graphics, original graphics type implementation. I need to kind of, well, re-implement it now, <clears throat> especially for these. So. What I am going to do is I need to, okay, I'm going to start the material and work my way down. So I'm going to, first of all, create a, yeah, I'll just put it in the, in the uh, root directory. It'll be like test material, mat.yaml, something like that. And I'll see if I can put in the values of or the ability to write it anyways. Because it would be the name, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, yeah, so I first of all, I need to be able to write stuff out. So... Crap! I can't reuse half of this stuff. So what we're going to let's get rid of the, this fragment descriptor and shader. We just compile the old stuff in. Let's re-add photographics YAML to be compiled in. Make sure that still works as it once did. I don't have tests, right? I do have tests for this. Ugh. Oh no, but it's only testing for the VK struct and types, so that's still safe the moment I have tools oh yeah for converting these things in okay so now I need to figure out how to be able to write these things out Yeah, okay. Well, I just churned through my mind as to how exactly I want to kind of restart uh, this. I need, okay, in the full resource, let's see if I can kind of come up with like a descriptor loader, descriptor. I need to be able to like save a material. Um, I guess. Well, no, not necessarily, because it would actually still require me to change it to that type specifically. And I don't have access to the deep items of the fragment descriptors anymore. Because it's hidden behind the implementation. So it would have to be something that actually has access to this. Okay, this can still happen. Um... interface library so like this it's 
something like that has access to the private side, the source side of these things. So I can still pull in these headers and such. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe. One thing's for sure, I don't want to have YAML implemented at this level. I can't. It needs to be a level below. I really want to make these things like kind of like a struct, almost public. But I also kind of don't. kind of weird class like exporter class Okay, let's go to the source, the application. What I want to do at the end of the deinitialization is I want to save a material. Let's just start from there. If I can figure out where I'm going. Destroying session. Okay, so here deinitialize, blah, 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 blah. I want to do it though before I actually destroy the data, preferably. Asynchronous pool, graphics, pipeline pool. Okay, so it'd be here. That's what I want to do. I want to something like that. And it'd be like the material, something like that. So we'll just start with one. We'll just start with exporting the sh shader now. Or the fragment descriptor. The fragment descriptor is a bunch of stuff from Vulkan. So we'd have to pass it back onto the private implementation. So I need to go back to that anyways. Ugh. I need to figure out how to access this stuff so I could save it again. Because I want to still be able to import it from YAML and save it to a more compact binary type later. So I need to be able to both read and write anyways. And writing is the more interesting of the two. Okay. Um... I 
it's this so the fragment descriptor HPP we're including um, DK private something like that so let's say we're going to include uh, no we'll just like wait. Descriptor, and then we have what is it? Something YAML node, node name node. Is this reading or writing? No. What I want to do is write to no name. I'm writing to the node, and the thing we have is. Oh, graphics pk fragment descriptor hmm something like that we'll make it inline And then we'll see something like this, where we're going to have to, what do we do when we write? We have a write node, that's amazing. I need to include some YAML stuff. So we have the write node, and we have something that we're putting into it. Say right node test. Outside of that, we'll have Uh, this is C plus plus, so I can't. I can't really do. Hmm, that'll be difficult. Okay. Um, where was this save settings? Is like this. Let's go to. Let's figure this out. Let's just. Okay, this is a very temporary thing. settings we'll just output to the file okay and it's just don't return anything
Oh, graphics, YAML. Frag descriptor. Uh, 2.htp, something like that. I need to include for graphics YAML. for the moment. We include this, we export that. Test node, uh, we'll just do like a interpret cast. of whatever uh, the material get fragment descriptor oh it's just that I can just return that right now well that makes it a little bit easier doesn't it and the node test out We'll just instantly return right now. Oh, it's still that type. For the moment, anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, try running it. this we have the test node test the material the name okay so from that we should be able to basically re bring these guys back out so these are local to him so this I should actually be able to just about not this though there's no shader pool anymore. Okay, let's delete that. It takes a little while. Nope. Yeah, that doesn't work very well, does it? Do. YAML export. Okay, that's great. We don't have a shader pool anymore. We also these two both still exist.
Okay, we can go back, fragment descriptor, we can clear this out for the moment. So we can just focus on writing out the fragment descriptor again, which is these items. So we need to include uh, BK that. We don't have that, that. But these can all stay. We don't have the YAML stuff anymore for shader. Clear that out. Am I missing like something from that? Maybe. Um, okay. Graphics VK descriptor pool goes away. We don't have that. We don't also don't use that right now. This we do use. Although we don't actually have access to the VK one, do we? We'll hold back the private uh, oh, items for the moment. Let's just work with what's publicly available. Frag descriptor, HPP, that's great. And then it becomes not that, but uh, original file, uh, original function. Comes this. Ah, not quite apparently. Why? Oh, it's not even loaded in yet, is it? Uh, okay, right. Let's wait until it's loaded in, and then we'll go ahead and... Uh, Okay. The material mm, has two things, rasterization and color blend attachments. From before. So this is not a test node. This is uh, fragment script for. the declaration the declaration would always be um, basically a name and a resource ID of some sort if hmm, I don't even think we'd actually export that out though I don't, I don't think so. We would at least export out the name though. That does make sense. Hmm. Okay, something in the fragment descriptor though would have to output the uh, shader though which would have to be, so I may want to reintroduce names to resources to make them uniquely identifying or somewhat uniquely identifying.
do I want to have it as part of yeah I would have to have it as part of the uh, type to make things easier As much as I don't really like the idea. Actually, that's something I can probably do is like make like a const type. Same thing with this. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that it has to be loaded as part of the constructor. You can't. Yeah. It's basically permanent with it. The fragment descriptor. And it could be string view actually. Okay, this should break yeah the application. So now it's required like the material. So something like that. Most of these names will be less than the string size, so it'll be small string optimized. I hope.
Okay, if they're all like unique string names, then I don't necessarily need to uh, have a resource ID. I can use the name when I'm loading in mods and stuff after the fact and just hook back into the old names. I don't need a specific resource ID thing. That should also make it a little bit easier when dealing with uh, networking, trying to figure out names across different instances. Yes. Okay, I can see how this works better than the resource ID. So the resource ID thing is out right now. Or the entity ID thing, which means was it? who had it? Material, right? You had entity ID. Goodbye. Then if it's always going to be from a YAML file when it's imported, then it's exported to a binary. Hmm. Going back and forth in my mind as to how ex what would be best. Hmm. Okay, what we'll do is we'll do at least this shader, fragment descriptor, and these two. So we're not going to the graphics, we're going for these ones. One, two, three, one, two, three, these guys. Identify the resources specifically nothing else and actually I needed to add these to that Get stash yeah we'll fix that up wait hold on is there anything else no Get a stash pop. Move it back over. Okay. So I need to be able to write the shader declaration, which means it's Temporary, uh, knock this off. Read definition and write the definition. Not quite right now, thank you very much. Shader, not CPP.
Okay, this is actually, I don't even really need it up at this point. I need it down here, more like. Hmm. These are all publicly accessible items. Okay, I need this. Okay, I need a, uh, like, faux resource YAML directory. Or I need to have it like as a subdirectory, like a sub library of faux resource, which actually would make up probably just a teensy bit more sense. And then I do the same thing for the graphics YAML and the graphics VK YAML would be a sub sublib. So libs. Then it'd be the YAML. And then I'd also have like a IMX YAML, import export YAML. It'll be like a sub, uh, do, 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 do. Let's include and source and a bunch of other things. Mm-hmm, I, th I think this will work. So, foe, uh, resource, YAML, and then we'll put it in here. So we have shader. This is a little, getting a little uh, heavy, different def, whoops. Okay, uh, we'll need, what was it? This. We'll have a, uh, whatever this is, the read declaration. And write the declaration. We don't have this anymore. We'll create a new shader based on the declaration that we read in. Either we create or we find. Um, Hmm. Actually, that's a good thing. Question, isn't it? Hmm. I'll leave it for a moment. First of all, we write the declaration. Sim way simpler. Figure out const that, yes. Makes a bit of sense.
sublibraries. Inside libs, we have add subdirectory. Uh, Okay, going a little bit deeper in there. There's nothing in source right now. But there will be in a second. From this, which is just the name. No target sources. Shader, shader, singular. Unknown type, faux res, YAML export. Hmm, yes. Happy now? Are you not entertained, computer? I'm ex name is a private member of that. Yes, you're right. Um, that's probably something I should have added as a way to get the name back out. So that is string view of git name. Const no accept. It's valid as long as this object is, and I don't really care for any other variant. Really, do I? No. Not right now. I'm sure maybe one day and then I'll change it then. After it's already too late. Of course. Let me guess, you can't take string view. Mm, yes, you can. Oh, it's git name. Okay, you can take a string view, very nice. I need to include uh, YAML exception. Okay, shit declaration. It's underscorey nonsense. I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, it can't take a string view, so we do need to return a string. Or. This, okay, this has a couple things. This has the 
fragment descriptor. It also has the shader. This is something I'll be able to get. Hold on while I add this to you and you. And then I add this. Add these as uh, fix ups again. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, and yes to this part. Here, moving back to application, we're writing the fragment descriptor. We're go inside the fragment descriptor. We're doing this. We're writing not quite this. We're writing this, and then we say if Sorry, what is this? This is the VK type. Oh, crap. Right. This is the graphics part of the impl implementation. Not. This is part of the definition. No, but, no, but the, uh, that would be part of the definition as well. Okay. Okay, the graphics is not part of the definition of this. But there would be down here in resource libs all the way down here there'll be like a fragment script or like pp. So one of the first things would be here as well. I know this is like, I know this is confusing as all hell for anyone on the outside looking in, but it's confusing as all hell for the for me in the middle of it as well. I apologize. Oh, come on, you, no, you. There we go. Oh. You stay there. This one look for YAML fragment descriptor. Hmm. 
string, we have this, which is going to do this. Right. Uh, fragment. Descriptor. Declaration. Do a full name. Always do the full name if possible. This is kind of the downside of like ripping apart uh, like fragment descriptor into like three parts: the declaration, the definite implementation of Vulkan, and then having a resource type on top. It's it's all it's not, it's madness. It's ripped apart, it's strewn across worlds. It's like a giant puzzle you have to pick it all back up piece by piece. But I'm hoping that if I do this like this, it will pay off because it'll be f a bit more more flexible and maintainable in the future. Even well, not necessarily maintainable. This is kind of a complicated mixture. More on the flexibility side. Well, actually, it is somewhat more maintainable because, like the. What is responsible for which part of the life cycle of rather than a lot of the work I've done in previous jobs is always kind of everyone's always leading lead to having massive large classes doing you know it always start out with good intentions of doing like some small things but it always grows it bloats it becomes a cancerous morass of one class trying to do everything. And I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to keep like every struct, every piece of class doing like a some like a fairly small, well defined, scoped something. Rather than like large, all encompassing, do it all monstrosities which become super complex by themselves. I know like the interconnectedness in the interconnections between these smaller types of more complex, but I'm hoping that I'm dreaming that it's going to be work. It's going to work out. It's a dream. I have a dream, uh, and I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off track again. I need to do this, which is basically the same as this one, I believe. Of course, rather than P shader, it's P fragment descriptor instead. the Vulcan what is this parsing oh, I'm not there yet just the exception right we're all right we're putting this guy out that's great so this is what would be coming out from the material the material would write this out this then the fragment descriptor would it definition would output the shader so let's actually see if we can get to that point as well that right fragment descriptor definition it's this type Hmm. 
So one, the first part of it would be the fragment shader. Get fragment shader. If one equal no pointer. If that not equal null pointer, then we can uh, for the right node. Yes. Not really what I was looking for. I want folk graphics. I was looking for this old one. No, this was it. Okay, the right node. pattern then if we're doing that then we're going to spit out hey you know um, and include the shader and shader HPP shader declaration under going to be e frag shader and part of right node. So we have the bool, so <sighs> Or maybe we just have and then at this point we go into the faux graphics Vulcan stuff. Graphics YAML. Is it YAML? Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? Faux graphics YAML fragment descriptor. Okay, yes, I can see how this works. I can see how it works very well. Then we drag. Fragment descriptor. Definition this stuff. Or is it this one? It's this one right now. So I just say it's 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 on this node raw. It's p fragment descriptor get fragment descriptor. It's on the right node. Really? Where is this? I thought this was. What's sitting up here? Maybe? Shader, um, fragment is first. have access to it for the moment perhaps
Faux resource does bring in the graphics one, right? But it doesn't bring in the YAML one. That's true. Just still not really. Okay, we got that. Can we run it and see what it spits out or if it fails? Um, test material. It's still just a fragment descriptor and that's kind of it. I think I'm writing the wrong one out. And we'll write descriptor, yeah. Definition. I mean, there's really nothing on the root nodes, so faux resource YAML fragment descriptor. You know what? I'll just say YAML. YAML and bin, YAML and bin, something like that. Get rid of this IMEX nonsense. with nothing. Yep. Bam. It's a bit easier. Oh, I need to re uh, rename the close unable to no known conversion from that to that really oh right yeah 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 fragment descriptor of the frag descriptor like that right it's a pointer yes We do not have an uh, implementation of that function. I believe it's this one. Bring it down. Just have to get use count. About there. Okay, the, uh, well, how's it read now? It's still the same. Not looking too good there. Oh dear. Let's see what we're doing wrong. Okay, we go inside. Come on, we go inside. Uh, come on. Don't do this to me. Okay, we're inside. We have the right node. Fantastic. We do this. Really? Um...
OK. OK, hold on. I've got something off about this. Why do I have this extra P shader in here? I must I, I must have had it for something for something to do with source loading. Oh. I Okay. For the moment, we'll just operate on the, that P shader type, right? Unless he's trying to do stuff here, return P shader. What about you? This is how you, okay. We'll come back to it. We will come back to it. Uh, apparently, I was trying to load a resource, and I have a frag shader here. Wait, hold on. Right now, he is in the loaded state, so this is right. Color blend is real and stuff. Okay, we get it. We're in here. We're what? Resetting this? What? Pause from breakpoint. Fragment descriptor. CPP forty two. I'm looking for a different file. You breakpointed me on the wrong file. Ah, yeah, that's a downside of this poor implementation. Okay, we spit that out, and then we write the rest of it out, we write it out, and we're out. Okay, how's that look? The material has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Split it up into the resources node and the graphics data node. So YAML node, res node, res um, write node,
And then actually, we don't even have to do that for this one because it's just the one. So we just say, graphics data like that. We can do it that way. That's why I couldn't get fragment shader. I kept getting overwritten by this stuff. Okay, we'll rack out. I'm writing stuff, it's fantastic. We can leave. Yes, no, not quite. Res node. I mean, yeah, there's only one, but you know, okay. Go on down, and we have the material resources. We have the fragment shader, the shader, and we have the graphics data, which is this. Nice. It's coming together. Hmm. Okay, okay. So that's writing of this stuff, kind of. I need to rework the YAML into the Vulkan and into the graphics libraries as well. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But this should be workable. Without requiring me to do this weird private interface thing as well. Okay, so what did I have? I kind of have a portion of fragment descriptor done. This is the old graphics one. Oh my god. Okay. Close to the right. Try to do just a few too many items. What's next? Material. Material's the top layer. Do it. Uh, all this stuff. This is a material instead. Uh, writing of the declar of the declaration is simple enough. We'll go on down here. Much like these guys, it's just this.
the exception of items. Thank you. Now, if we're to write out the definition, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Yeah. We have direct lines to everyone we're using. For the moment, anyways. It's on reading that I'm going to need to have like external types to be able to find previously imported or declared uh, items, objects, resources. But at least we'll have one way going. What's it? An hour 20. Okay. Okay, we have a resource node for material. What do we bring out of material? And you get the graphics fragment descriptor specifically. Let's go do that. Move to the CPP. Okay, what the? Oh, I see. Libs is between. Yeah, that's fun. That's not really the one I was looking for. I was looking for the ones in here. And then I'd add these ones. Two material. I need to I need to think a bit harder on this data management soon. Soon. Get back to this. descriptor no, there's actually nothing for this one Currently,
Um, that's right, I've been currently only writing out that, haven't I? Okay. that that's fragment descriptor we're going to do the material here wait hold on was i doing definition or declaration i was writing definition yes just the resource of the fragment descriptor And I definitely do actually see um, templating opportunities. For this. But I need to figure, I still need to reorg YAML to graphics. So many things. The material has a resource, which is just the fragment descriptor. And then the graphics data will eventually become, what was it? The images, the buffers, and everything else that uh, go into it. Fragment descriptor are these. And then, then I would have a shader. The shader would be what? The shader would be some, what was it? The data, what is it? Like, um, would it be location information? No. Would have to be something along the lines of where's mesh bound stuff i don't have it right now but it'd be things like was it the binding locations for variables for inputs such as textures and stuff which would have to match what is given in the material i think something like that yeah it's not quite there yet. Not quite close, but not quite there yet. So we'll kind of deal with the rest of shader later. Material is the top level right now. Declaration, definition. I want to read in definitions, I need a mechanism for retrieving already existing resources. Like a little super large map. Like the all encompassing map. But I don't necessarily want to put them all into a single class, a single object for organization. But I kind of do at the same time.
That's something I have to figure out eventually. Okay, for the moment, let me grab. Should I really figure this out first, or do I want to reorg them in? Okay. Because what would this? These this would have to be changed so it doesn't take info shader and take info graphics shader. It would be internal to full graphics VK, which is implementation back end implementation. So it would read and write those types. So the resource wouldn't necessarily have to know any of the Vulcan stuff for input and output. I think. For the moment, anyways. But we still need to have okay so maybe I don't want to necessarily have it as internal like this because this is kind of janky to have it in here like this I mean, it is technically a sub-library and fully dependent on Okay, I need to take a break. I'm going to take a quick drink and think about this. Okay, <clears throat> so first things first, now that I'm back, I am going to embed it in the larger library that it fully depends upon. So. There'll be two parts of this. First of all, on the photographics level, where on earth did that go to create it? Where is this? I want to create it here. Create a new folder. Libs. I got an incoming call. Hold on. Okay, a whole lot of nothing. Uh, yes, creating a new thing. So we've got YAML. We will have, what is it? Do I have anything to rip out of the fragment descriptor? Yes, I do. But I don't have it declared at this point, but I do have shader. So we'll do that. Uh, we don't act, wait, no, this is just basically a uh, interface library. So I wouldn't even have that. No source, just, um, Crap, I deleted something. So of course it's gonna take forever. YAML. Add subdirectory YAML. Yeah, 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 no. Go back here. We grab this stuff in. We're going forward again in here. It's graphics YAML. Like this. But there'll be nothing, to, no actual real definition beyond that. need that but it will require actually target link libraries public it does take infographics and it, that's it at this point 
I mean, I guess I could bring in faux YAML from here. It would make sense. Not really. No, yes, I would need it. I do need faux YAML because why am I here? I need it for the declaration of the header stuff. So I'm looking for it's basically this stuff. Well, almost declaration. Maybe. Actually, yeah. Okay, no. Rip that out. Don't need it at this point yet. That's faster. Put it back. We can do it at the YAML, at the uh, graphics VK point, though. This does make sense. This way, wonderful uh, VK and faux YAML. Um, yes, code coverage. Yes, yes, yes. Graphics YAML. It would be the same, right? As the original. Yeah. And there would be one more, which we would have to uh, take from, uh, what is it, back, one, two, go to four to source. So we have access to these headers as well. There's even really anything to bring in for the oh yes there is one at least. Basically, be same as very same similar to this. now it is still actually like faux graphics vk yeah it is that i haven't abstracted that quite yet
eventually there would be a read type in here. So it'd be node name, the node. And then this. Maybe this? I'm not entirely sure actually. Leave it there. This though it will. Should basically be this type. Okay, and then I'd move the other items in as well. As this is only being used by one, so swap him over to using Graphics VK YAML for the moment. Then we clear out this one. We no longer require that. Yeah, it will be brought in from that. Mm, he should still exist. Oh, uh, graphics. Okay does not have okay Need parsing, we need the exception. Rename it a little bit. If 
Fantastic. Okay, then I need I need to move these types as well, right? And these two up. Okay. Move these up as well to here. Auxiliary targets for this. What's left in here are basically about to go abandoned. What do I ignore from this? Okay. This is a lot of moving part, moving things being moved around right now for this one. So. Um, okay. What do you mean undefined reference to this? Oh, I'm missing the serialization library, right? That's what's missing here. Fo fo graphics, VK, okay. fo YAML and the serialization. It's me reconstructing what I've already done. Getting back up to speed with what I've done months ago, I think. So I can iterate and improve upon it. Okay, photographic YAML is going away. So all these deleted ones are now up here instead, right? Wait, what? Reset that. What's, what's different about them? Oh, I accidentally saved the file, didn't I? Scar the change, you know, no, no longer dirty. Okay.
Yeah, okay. I need to be able to read this stuff now. Okay, what I can do is I can open the file, I can read the resources that I need. And if I can't load them in, then I leave and I come back and reread the file in a second. I'd rather do that than pause. Unless I can figure out a way to... Hmm. That would be easier right now. Read resources, read graphics data. Hmm. Oh, God. I'm really confused as to what I'm about to do for that. It's reading stuff. Whatever. I'll do this. I'll commit this. the YAML
Okay. I got something done in two hours. I'll call it there for tonight. Cheers.